Hey guys, your favorite moderator is back again, creator of the mod. Today is sort of a different video. In this video, I'll be explaining the story, or as people also say, lore of my character, inspired by Henry Stickman. I have put timestamps on the video so you can see every chapter and skip to some if you want. And I'll be putting the spread of my character talking from that time period as well as the year. Now before we start, I gotta tell you to like, but also moderate that subscribe button so it turns grey. Alright, well, grab a drink and something to eat if you want. And here is the story of Creator the Mod. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blair and welcome to Completing the Mission, the latest game about Henry Stickman. Now what is going on guys, this is right here and welcome to a game called the Henry Stickman Collection. What the freak is this? It's been a long time since we've come back to this place. So many missions we have gone through before. We've broke the bank. We've escaped the prison. We've stolen the diamond. We've infiltrated the airship. We've fleed the complex. All to lead you back to us. Completing the mission. Hey guys, Daniel, welcome back to Henry. The man, the myth, the absolute legends. Ah, uh, Henry Stickman. An old Flash game about a stickman named Henry trying to steal and or cause havoc, made by Puff Balls United. This game is beloved by, by many, and a fan base has formed around it, especially on TikTok. I know, right? TikTok? <laughs> In 2020, after the Henry Stickman collection got released, community for on TikTok with people making edits, fan art, OCs, and lastly, role-playing as the characters. And well, that's where I come in. On August 22nd of 2020, I created an account on TikTok named Henry.Stickman underscore which was going to be an account where I roleplayed as well, Henry Stickman. I started my journey off by posting Henry, doing the distraction dance with three frames. Very original, I know. But then I started scrolling on my For You page and I came across a person named Dmitry Petrov, And I commented on his video and probably said something about him not going to find me. <laughs> I even made it into a video. And uh, well, from then on, we started roleplaying. Me trying to escape Dimitri, and uh, I threatened Dimitri by saying we'll blow up the wall if he doesn't stop trying to find me. Uh, after some time, me, along with Ellie and Charles, destroyed the wall. Okay guys, Dimitri is not here, so Charles, you can do your greatest plan. Oh yay! Okay, let's do this. Ellie, are you ready? Yes, let's explode the wall since Dimitri isn't here. Henry, go down over there, so this video can make sense. Okay, I am down here. Do your greatest plan. I got the perfect plan. This is the greatest plan! made a video saying that he won't give up and will rebuild the wall. I tried convincing Dimitri so I could work at the wall and help rebuild it so I could destroy it again. Uh, after that, the plan failed. I decided to turn to the Topat clan to help me destroy the wall. And this, this is where I met the infamous Reginald Copperbottom King. He was the leader of, well, the top eye plan. We tried doing the same plan like before, blowing it up with a helicopter, but Dimitri said that they built the wall with steel and uh, it would be impossible to get head on. Our next game plan was to dig under the wall and plan C4. And we decided not to due to Dimitri knowing that we were going to do so. 
we decided to get out of there on the airstrip of Reginald, Emily and Charles. After a few days of traveling, we made it to our campsite, which was a few miles away from the campsite with the Top Hat Clan's rocket. Then I decided to scream at a dog in front of 63.3 thousand people. Don't ask why. After preparing ourselves to get to the main site, we went there, but something was off. Dimitri found us. Yes, sir, we found them. They took the bike here just like you say it. I'm on the way. Send in the entire squad. I'm on Henry and the girl. Take these! Three, now get strapped two, in, we're about to blast one. off. Wow, I can't believe that worked. You've taken everything from me. My reputation is ruined. Now I will ruin you! Everyone! I'd like to welcome our new members. They really showed their gusto when it counted. Also, they promised to return the ruby. We thought we'd be captured, and yet, Reginald helped us in defeating Dimitri once and for all. should I say I got jumped by Dimitri. Apparently he wasn't dead. And if you're wondering why Ellie isn't here, it's because apparently she's not here. She was on the way to the top ice to give them back their tank, but I got captured. <laughs> Even I forgot that. Anyways, after Dimitri captured me, he tortured me, gave me no food, and uh, until I started getting crazy. And I started to become blue. The next day, I became normal again and a dancing spring trap appeared in my room and I danced with him. What the fuck? Uh, a few days later, Topa Charles came to my rescue. I had a snack before busting out. Sometime later, I did a voice reveal. Let's see how that went. Hello, it's me. Henry Stickman. Yeah, how about no on that one, chief? After that day, I never saw the wall or Dimitri again. With that, we close the Henry vs. Dimitri chapter. Oh, uh, remember how I said I started going crazy and I started becoming blue? Yeah, well, actually, I died that night and got resurrected and put into an alternate universe where my name was Oliver. And that's why Top Hat Charles came to my rescue because I was part of the Top Hat Clan in that universe. Yeah. After escaping the wall of Topa Charles, I stayed with Topa Clan, and Reginald gave me one of his top hats because I didn't have one at that point in time. When I asked about Ellie, they asked who Ellie was. I guess I wasn't with Ellie in this universe. I was still getting used to people calling me Oliver. This is also where I first met Izzy and Coco. They were both top hat members and they were very nice to me. I stayed with the Top Hats for a few months, going on raids, adventures, and many other missions. Until Reginald had his first girlfriend named Scar. He was very protective of her. If anyone spoke to her, he'd think someone was trying to take her away from him. He'd start sending death threats and told them to commit suicide. How could you? Eric, listen to me, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. You fucked up. I decided it was enough and I left the Top Eye Clan alongside with Coco and Izzy, who both didn't like what Reginald was doing to us and the Top Eye Clan.
After leaving the Top Hat Clan, I decided to create the Cap Clan, a clan where we can wear caps of any sort. Coco decided to join me, in which Izzy followed. We were now three in our clan. The next day, I met up with my good friend OBS Joker. We were friends for like four years at that point, and it seemed like he was the same in this universe. So I asked him if he wanted to join the Cap Clan, and without hesitation, he agreed. And just like that, a new member. We both agreed he'd be in charge of our armory. While walking back to my pickup ride with OBS, uh, a man with a bucket on his head named Tony came up to me and asked if he could join my clan. I didn't know how he knew about my clan, but hey, another new member is always better, so I said yes. The three of us went to our pickup car where Coco was waiting, and we went back to our base. A day later, Top Hat clan members started to tell Reginald about our clan, and Reginald saw this as my act of revenge. He thought that I wanted to make him suffer. So like any normal clan leader does, he waged war against the Cap clan. didn't expect this reaction from Reginald. We only wanted a clan that was better managed, but Reginald didn't see it that way. So we started to prepare for this unannounced war. OBS Joker started to work on our armor, Coco started making new weapons, Izzy on making sure we've got supplies, and Tony is my assistant. After two days of working, Coco had finished our weapons, Izzy had checked our supplies, and OBS had organized our armor. D-Day was near, we were ready for it. A week passed when we saw the Top Hatter ship approach, when we got our weapons at the ready and we started firing. It was us five versus the entire Top Hat clan, but somehow we survived our first attack. After that, each day was the same for a month, until Coco proposed a new plan. The plan was simple. Coco would use our super advanced teleportation device to teleport me on the roof of the airship. I'd put on the top hat that Reginald had given me before all of this went down, and I'd sneak in on board, then I'd proceed to head to their main control room and kill Reginald. The plan was set. We would execute this plan next week. Until, de until then, we'd have to defend. The next week had come rapidly, and we were prepared to execute the plan. Coco teleported me on the roof of the top hat airship, and now it was my part. I had successfully snuck in on board and made it to the hallway, just before the main control room. I prepared my sword, opened the door, went before Reginald and I finally did it! I got him! I- Huh? Ah, sh- Ah shit, I got hit in the head. But hey, on the bright side, the war is over. Reginald is dead, we're all alive, and we won. And if you're wondering who hit me on the head there, it was Henry. Well, Henry Stickman, Talbot King. It seems like the Henry Stickman of this universe was him. After the war ended, we heard that a doctor from the Talbot clan somehow resurrected Reginald. So I guess my job was undone. The war was still over, and me and Henry became friends. He saw how corrupt Reginald was, but didn't want to leave the Top Hat Clan, so he apologized and understood what, what I did, did had to be done. After 
after a few months of missions, me and the rest of the Cap Clan decided the best thing to do was to disband the Cap Clan or give it to somebody else. So we decided to hand the Cap Clan over to Harrison. Harrison was a guy I met who thought he was the leader of a Cap Clan even though he wasn't, so I decided I'd give him the Cap Clan to him. I don't think the Cap Clan is around anymore today, sadly. After we disbanded, we went back to living our lives. We still kept talking and meeting up, just not in a clan where we robbed things. Izzy wasn't present though, she left a few days before the Cap Clan disbanded. We don't know where she went, she just told us that she had things to do. Me and Henry still kept in touch via SMS. After a year of the Cap Clan's disbandment, Coco and OBS decided to leave town. Coco had to go see his family and OBS Joker decided to go back to university. We met up one last time before they left. Tony stayed in town for a couple more weeks until he had to leave too. I don't know where he went, he didn't say. He said he needed to leave and that he wishes me luck in the future. And that was... that was it. I was alone now. All my friends gone. The only person I had left to talk was Hen... Alright. Alone, huh? Yeah. So why not just start our life instead of sitting at home and crying because your friends left? So that's what I did. I started a new life. Uh, hi, yes, uh, I would like a dust filter for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60, please. No, not that kind of life. I just started to get a real job, changed hands because walking around in a bloody top hat isn't the best look. It's been seven months since my left friend. So my friends left and I haven't got any messages or letters from them. Must mean they're all busy, right? <laughs> right? And that's the end of the story so far. Now, I am going to tell you all about... Well, I'm actually going to start... I'm going to be starting a new comic series based on this. I'll be talking about, well, the chapter 9 of my character story which hasn't been written yet. I'll be posting them on YouTube and TikTok, probably. If you look forward to that, then definitely join my new Discord server. The link is will. The link is. I've messed up so many times at this. The link will be in the comments and the description. Uh, like the video and moderate that subscribe button, guys. Until it turns grey. Alright, well, until next time. Creative the mod out.